زود ال FI2 FI2 هنزود زود ال FI2 حاجة ثانية اوكي طيب هو ده أول حاجة نمرة واحد احنا هنتكلم على على ال blood gas مش بس الأرتيريا على كل ال blood gas بس أول مبدأ ايه احنا بنعالج ال blood gas احنا بنعالج patients كويس فأنا من ال blood gas I don't make a decision هل تفرق معاكي مثلا لو انا قلت ان ده من نص ساعه كان البي اتش بتاعه 6.9 والبي اس او بي سي او 200 وانا عملت تشينج وبعد نص ساعه بقى ده بلاد جاس. بالظبط هو كده دلوقتي ما احتاجش اعمل حاجه هو والله يكمل الامور بتتحسن. او لو بلاد جاس من نص ساعه كان 7.3 بي سي او 240 وانا عملت تغيير ده معناه ان البلاد جاس بتاعي البيبي بتاعي الاطباء بتاعتي اتغيرت وسائد عن قبل كده فانا بحتاج حاجتين نمره واحد اعرف العين بتاعي وات هو از ماي بيشنت اي تريت بيشنتس نوت بلاد جاسز سكند اي ونت تو نو ذا ترند كان ايه هو نمره واحد ايه الحاجه بتاعته ايه الدايجنوسس الكونديشن ان جنرال هل في حاجه جديده حصلت دي نمره واحد نمره اثنين البلاد جاسز اللي كانت قبل كده ايه عشان اعرف انا جاي منين عشان اعرف انا عايز اروح اوكي فدي اول مبدا احنا مش هنعالج بلاد جاسز يعني هنتكلم كتير على البلاد جاسز بس احنا وي دو ات تو تريت بيشنتس كده نبتدي ان شاء الله هنتكلم على البلاد جاسز انتربريتيشن اعتقد هي الأول هنتكلم على الأرتيريال بلاد جاس، إحنا إيه هو الأرتيريال بلاد جاس؟ بلاد جاس، we do it from the artery، and it's an important part. Now anybody knows when anybody works with a blood gas machine, you put the blood in a blood gas machine. Okay, what what readings do you get? And the order of the numbers, the numbers that we get, the number. هاي ال يعني ايه اول حاجه؟ اول حاجه بي اتش بي اتش ثاني حاجه بي سي او 2 بي سي او 2 ولا بي او 2؟ بي سي او 2 بي سي او 2 خلاص دي ستاندرد كده بلاد جاس بي اتش بي سي او 2 بي او 2 بعد كده متاكد؟ هيموجلوبين اوكي طب ليه الثلاثه دول دايما يطلعوا ورا بعض؟ وبعدين بقى احيانا تطلع باي كار احيانا تطلع صوديوم احيانا تطلع جلوكوز كل ماشين بقى مزاجها ليه؟ لا دايما البلاد جاس يطلع لي بي اتش بي سي او 2 بي او 2 خلاص وبعدين بقى في حاجات تانية ممكن تطلع ممكن ما تطلعش كل واحد له سيكو الحاجات دي ابسولوت انديكيشن حد عنده رأي تاني؟ اوكي طيب في حاجات ميجر بالبروبس بتاعت الماشين وفي حاجات كالكيوليتي حاجات الميجر بي اتش بي سي او 2 بي او 2 باي كارد بيس ديفيسيت موست ماشين اوكسجين ساتوريشن ذير اون كالكيوليتي ده معناه ايه؟ حاجات الميجر هناخدها من الماشين حاجات الكالكيوليشن لازم نعرف بقى الماشين يا ترى بتكالكيوليت ازاي وزي ما الماشين كان كالكيوليت ده ويكان 
رايت فده هيبين مبدا بتاعنا ان احنا وي ار از سمارت از ذا ماشين في ماشينز وي كان اكشلي ميجر باي ار بس مش كتير وفي حاجه اسمها كو اوكسيمتر يعني مين بيشتغل في ايمرجنسي روم طيب لما يجي حد من البيرن مثلا بتحب تميجر ايه في البيرن بين البيشنتس اللي اكسبوز واز ان فاير واز فوك انتليشن ار يو انتريستد اباوت اني ثينج سبيشال؟ علشان لو انا الحته الصغيره بتاعتك لو انا اكتر من كده انت انيباني انيباني فروم ايمرجنسي روم لا ما بنتكلمش بلاد جاز يعني ده الحاجات دي كلها مهمه وكل حاجه بس احنا بلاد جاز هل في حاجه معينه بتحب تنسيها في البلاد جاز؟ انتيجيو تو باي كار عشان نعرف حاجه ثانيه الاكسجينيشن بيز ديفيسيت عشان نعرف من السيدوس حاجه ثانيه اكسجينيشن اكسجينيشن ايه في الاكسجينيشن؟ اكسجين ساتوريشن اوكي اكسجين ساتوريشن حاجة ثالثة؟ طيب ليه ايه الحاجة اللي الفاير لما تشتغل ما تبقاش نوت انكمبليت بيرنينج اوف ذا فيول بيجنريت وذ جاز؟ اوكي كربون مونوكسيد اوكي سو في ايه بقى يتقاس ازاي ده؟ هيبوكسي هيموجلوب طيب في ماشينز ممكن تقيس اوكسيد تو ميجر اوكسجين ساتوريشن Or oxyhemoglobin, deoxyhemoglobin, methemoglobin, carboxyhemoglobin. The machine you have there is called coxymeter. Sometimes there is a blood gas machine that is not available in the coxymeter. Okay? But we are going to assess the blood gas. One of them, the first one, the first one is the second one, oxygenation intervention. Right? The two of them, I mean, the oxygen and the other, what is the assessment phase balance? ممكن يخش فين؟ لو اوكسجين ستاتس الواحد يخش فين؟ اوكي والماسلز تشتغل باي نوع من الميتابوليزم؟ باي نوع من الميتابوليزم اوكي مدام يعني ذي ريليتد بس نوت دايركت احنا بنعمل دايما تو ستوريز اسيد بيز بالانس از ون ستوري اوكسجين از انذر ستوري الاول بنتكلم على مين؟ اسيد بيز بالانس اوكي Okay. The blood gas they tell us about acid, base balance, CO2, and oxygen. Will pattern of changes over? Okay. The very important terms that we have to agree on. In a couple of things, I'm going to say what the only acidosis. Alas, and and if it's so, and yani that scientifically. Acidosis or alkalosis, the acidemia and alkalemia. Okay, they're not exactly the same. Now we use them more or less interchangeably, but they're not the same. But acidosis is a normal process which a would lower arterial blood pressure. You're adding acid or you're taking alkali, and this would would lead if it continues will lead that your your pH will low will go low. So it will become acidemic. In alkalosis, it's a normal process or condition where if no other changes happen, your pH will go up. But acidosis by alkalosis is the process. Acidemia, alkalemia is the pH. So acid, pH less than 7.35 or 7.36 is acidemia. The acidemia is like it could be acidosis. pH above 7.44 is alkalemia. Alkalemia is the result of the alkalosis. The alkalosis or acidosis is the process. Acidemia, alkalemia is the pH changes when it goes, becomes out of the normal range. Right? So that's the first thing that we need to do. What is the problem with acidemia or alkalemia? Alkalemia How is our body 
make sure that our pH stays within normal range that is suitable for function by having buffering system. So buffering system, the hikna, which for all of us are called malwahid yishrab, lamurata, citric acid, you become acidotic. Not both, but the masalan wahid yiraka, you lose acid, you become alkalinic. Then we will live. live. Yeah. So there is our, in our body, there is a buffering system which minimizes changes in pH, and when we add acid or we add base, it becomes weaker, and it keeps the pH within normal range. We have three major buffering systems in our body. What are they? Okay, B buffer system would be a system function that helps regulate our pH. I will be buffering systems in our blood. When you add things to the blood, they, they dilute the effect. If you add acid, they dilute the effect of the acid. If you add alkali, it dilutes the effect of the acid. So we have bicarbonate. Hmm? Okay. We have bicarbonate, hemoglobin, and phosphate. These are the three major buffering systems, and the most important one of them is the bicarbonate. Okay. We do have our body system. <coughs> that maintains the acid base cell. So we have renal, kidney, can absorb more H ions, absorb more bicarb, depending on our body status, can have renal problems that also causes it not to absorb correctly, so you actually get into trouble. And renal compensation takes a little bit of time. And the kidney tries to get your pH normal. It doesn't happen very quickly. How about the lung? Does it happen quickly or happen slowly? Quick. It happens quickly in its limited compensation. If you're a kidney, you'll get rid of CO2 quickly. If you're apneic, you'll accumulate CO2 quickly. So lungs happen quickly, but it can only deal with CO2 as far as acid base balance. Renal can deal with many things, but it takes time. Okay. This is the most important equation you have to remember for acid base by carbon system. Okay. H2O plus CO2 gives you H2CO3, which is carbonic acid. It's a weak acid, okay, which gives you HCO3 minus, there's a minus missing, I guess it didn't come through, plus HI. So there's a minus missing there, so it's a base plus an acid, HI. Okay. To go this way, or the equation, the equation goes both ways. Goes well, this way, you need carbonic anion trace inside. So it takes a little bit of time to do that. Okay. So first, when we look at a, a blood gas, whether it's arterial, venous, or capillary, and you'll see the difference. In your unit, do you do arterial blood gas all the time, or do you do venous, or do you do capillary? Capillary. Capillary. Okay. So we'll get to the differences and how we interpret each one. But the idea is, when we see a blood gas, the first thing we look at is the pH, the first number. So we'll decide what, does the patient have acidemia or alkalemia? Or is it normal range, but on the side of acidosis or alkalosis, that there is a process going on? Second, we need to decide from an acid-base balance point of view, is there an alkalosis or acidosis, and is there compensation? Compensation could be partial, could be full, or could be none. So, as we mentioned, respiratory happens quickly, then the renal takes time. The third thing is, what is the primary and what is the second? What happened first and what is compensation? And there are some tricks that we may face. Okay? Usually when our body compensates, like we have and an acid. We did lactic acid anaerobic metabolism. We have lots of acid in our body. So our body will try to get the pH higher. Is it going to try so hard that it will become alkalotic or will become alkalemic pH? Or will it just bring it closer to normal? <coughs> okay, so if we have acid, so now we have acid acidemia, our pH is low. Now our body tries to compensate. So renal system, respiratory system. Is it going to compensate for the acidosis to bring it to normal? Or can it compensate, can it keep going until it becomes alkalemic? Which one? Okay, so when our body, when we have acidosis, acidemia,
academia, our audience is low. 